All right, everybody, welcome back to EKG. Now, I did it last year, and I promised I would bring it back, so here we are. I'm um, doing, like, the Game of Thrones mod for uh, Crusader Kings 2. And I did a bunch of characters last year, so we're going to do some new characters this time. Uh, there's going to be heavy spoilers in some of these playthroughs. I'll try to leave a warning before each one I do to let you know if there's going to be any in that one. But uh, this one is going to be very spoiler heavy because this time, and you've had your warning now, so quit crying. I'm doing Lady Cersei. We're going to be Lady Paramount Cersei of the Westerlands because I, I like to play as my evil characters in this game. It's a lot more fun. So this scenario takes place uh, a little bit earlier than we are in the current state of the show. Um, so we're going to start here. Uh, Tommen is still alive, still the king. Uh, I'm going to turn off the book spoiler, so no need to worry about that. So this is going to be pretty show friendly. Uh, so we're going to start here. And uh, so yeah, Lady Paramount Cersei, which means that I control the Westerlands. I don't control the throne. Although Tommen is still alive and still the king. So there's like an alliance there, obviously. So I, I'm going to be helping him out in his wars. While, and we're going to set some goals here. So in each playthrough I'm going to do, I'm going to do seven episodes each Sunday before Game of Thrones. And uh, I'm going to set goals for myself each time. As Cersei, I'm trying to think of what her goal should be. And there's definitely some people I got to murder. So that's the first thing. There's 33,000 Tyrell troops there, and we know Cersei's not a big fan of them. So Queen Marjorie, the one who, who is married to my son, uh, she's going to have to be one of the first to die. So we're definitely going to do that. And... Uh, now we so we're gonna we're gonna have to uh, place a spy master there to uh, to get that goal accomplished. So I can do that right now. And then the other person we're gonna need to kill. And I'm sorry, everybody, but it has to be done. If, I had promised I'd play in character. We're gonna have to kill Tyrion. That's right. And he should be easy to find because he should be right here in my siblings. Yep, there he is. And he's uh, with Illyrio right now still. So he's uh, Varys is still smuggling him out of uh, Westeros. But I still have the option to try to kill him. And oh, my plot power is a lot stronger on that. So we can <laughs> we can get that started. Oh, people are not going to like me. Um, Illyrio is... What the hell? <laughs> Illyrio is the one smuggling Tyrion out for Varys. And he's already he, he's down to help me in this plan. He's like, yeah, Cersei, I'll murder him for you. What? Everyone is down. What the hell? This is something. So <laughs> some swift getaway. I'm going to be able to murder him almost instantly. We'll see how fast I can get this done. But we're going to auto-invite plot. So as soon as I hit... I have the option to send for a faceless man. That's not even necessary. The very person smuggling him out wants him dead. So I guess he's fucked. So sorry, Tyrion. Um, and then one thing, we're going to have to get remarried at some point if we want this playthrough to continue. Because if you die in this game, you play as your heir. And right now my heir is... Actually, my heir is Tommen, but I'm not sure if that ends the game or not. Actually, I, oh, well, that, that might be interesting. But we'll see if it comes to that. We're going to do some pretty evil shit, though, so it's very possible. So we'll sort by realms here so we can see what I control. I got all this red area here, so the Westerlands is what I actually control, and then I'm allied with the Iron Throne powers here, which control everything else. And there's some active wars going on. Stannis is still up north fighting the Boltons, so that's one war we gotta make sure we win. And then, this mod follows the book specifically, so one thing that's in here is Lady Stoneheart, actually. Uh, so she's leading the Brotherhood, and uh, so we gotta look out for them as well. That should be an easy war to win, but I, I'm not sure how that works because I haven't played the, this version of the mod. It has been broken on the Mac uh, for a while, and they actually just recently fixed it, so this is good timing. And uh, we'll improve my learning because that's overall just a good. I'm just setting all my stuff for the beginning of the game here. You gotta make sure you set your goals so that way you're earning it while you play. And uh, what? Ch oh, Joy Hill, I don't give a shit about you, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> And then I should get married, but I'm widowed, so I can't do that yet. So we'll we'll hit play here, and we'll see how these wars are going. And we might need to raise our troops and send them north to fight Stannis. I think that... Although... So, let's finish our goals here. So I have this goal to kill Tyrion. And oh my god, look at all those backers. Look at them go. Look at the backers. Tyrion is going to be dead within days playing this. Oh my god. I'm at 122. I'm at 132. <laughs> okay. Okay. So... I'm still tutoring this Joy Hill kid. I'm gonna give her to someone else. I don't know. I don't know who that is. I know she's from the books. Uh, she's like a bastard Lannister, but I don't care. She can be tutored with someone else. Uh, with you, sure. <laughs> okay, that's out of my hair. I don't care what you do. Oh, she's honest. Brilliant. She can be the one honest Lannister. All right. So moving on here. Let's see how that Tyrion plot's going. So that's going pretty good. So that's our first goal almost accomplished there. Our, our other goal was to kill Marjorie, but that might take a little bit longer while we're building our, uh, our spy master over there. And what else we need to do is, I think, I'm thinking eventually we're going to need to 
to become queen like uh, like Cersei is in the show. So we're going to probably declare independence. If Joffrey's still alive, or sorry, if Tommen is still alive, then the only way to do that would be to pro proclaim independence. We can be the queen of the rock, which which is pretty satisfying. Uh, Casterly Rock's probably a better castle anyway. So let's hit play here, and then let's make sure our counselors are doing their shit. All right, so Stannis and the Brotherhood are uh, around here in King's Landing, so I'm going to march some troops and make sure I help uh, my, my little son, my wee son. I'm going to make sure they get defeated. I think 5,000 should be enough, but fuck it. Let's raise the whole country. You know what? <laughs> if we're going to do anything, we're going to do it right. So I'm going to raise these troops, and I'm going to make sure I mass them before I, before I move there, and we're going to get our little, get our other little guys over there. <laughs> oh, my God. Cersei is leading these troops herself. What a badass. I didn't even know she could do that. I guess her marshal's five, which is okay. No commander trade, obviously. <laughs> so I guess she's in armor marching. Oh, I, I hope we get into single combat. That would be something. The Cersei duel. I'm going to make it happen. Even though it looks like Tommen's troops are already crushing Stannis. I wonder what happened in the north. We can take a look here. Because uh, the... Okay, so Roose Bolton's still reigning here. So Stannis never won the war for the north. I'm guessing Jon Snow... Yeah, so Jon Snow is still Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, so he didn't take Stannis' offer. It's possible in this version of the mod where uh, Jon will take Stannis' offer and get legitimized and help him take the city. And then usually it works, but uh, otherwise Jon will stay there and Stannis usually loses this war. So I'm not too worried about beating Stannis. I'm more getting prepared for my independence war after I kill Tyrion and Marjorie. All right, so I've amassed these troops that I'm going to lead myself because I'm a true lady who, who leads her soldiers. Uh, so Cersei is going to march her troops, and I'm going to take on Stoneheart myself. i got to make sure make sure she knows who's boss. But uh, we'll see if she meets him. So it's, it's actually Harwin leading the troops, which is a character in the books that's not in there. He uh, was like the stable master or something from Winterfell, so I guess he's leading those troops. And he won that battle, but oh god, there's 21,000 from, from Tommen. So, oh, well, they're done. Wow, so I didn't even get to participate in this war. That's disappointing. Well, so, yep, Stoneheart's defeated, so that was easy. And Stannis actually is still marching. We could sail over there, but I don't know if the Lannisters quite have the ships. So we can just go ahead and get our troops prepared for that independence war. We can make sure they're, uh, they're not dying, so that's probably good. Okay, so, yep, Tommen won that war. And then it's just Stannis. Then, he, But he, Stannis has no troops, is, is the problem. He starts out with some event troops up here in the north. But those, you know, those whittle and die after fighting. It just takes a long time to even march all the way south. By that time, they're already almost dead of attrition. So I can get my guys all home here. Oh, <laughs> I guess uh, Cersei's getting lewd and crude. So her fertility just went up. So I should probably get married again before she has a bastard. Which is something that happens in this game. I'm not, <laughs> I don't mean to sound misogynistic. I just I can't help it in this game. People are... People get down and dirty in this game, and you can't stop it sometimes. <laughs> and Jon Snow is requesting troops to the wall. Uh, how about no? <laughs> I'm trying to play in character here, damn it. That's not happening. And I really thought I would assassinate Tyrion by now. What's taking so long? Okay, I can bribe some extra people, so let's make this happen. So yes, guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying really hard. Even though this gets me nothing, pretty much, in-game. I guess he, he might fight for my claim later, so I guess it's a good person to murder. But... I got one extra person in on the plot. Hopefully that speeds things along. I don't want to... I mean, I might as well ask for the faceless man. I mean, what's he going to do? All right, name your price, assassins. Because sometimes they just request, like, a like a newborn baby or something really easy. That sounds horrible, but... I mean, kids in this game are easy to come by, so if the faceless man ever requests that, then it's like, oh, sure. I'll just pop out another. <laughs> I'll have another. So that's the kind of thinking I do in this game. Okay, the faceless men are requesting 2,000 gold. Am I reading that right? Yep, that says 2,000. So, and it would actually let me pay this, but I would have to, like, go in debt to... to what? I can actually go 2,000 in debt? I can't do that, because then I won't be able to raise troops. That would have been interesting. I, I really wish I could have tried that, but I'm sorry, guys. I can't go 2,000 gold in debt. I don't even know if I can make that money back in 100 years in this game. That is absurd. But interesting that they let you do it. I could bankrupt the whole Westerlands for one murder. Even though it looks like I've got a lot of people backing me. What's taking this murder so long if Illyrio himself is like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's murder the fuck out of him. <laughs> All right, so actually it looks like the war in the Riverlands has been won. And Edmer Tully himself has become my prisoner. I'm not sure why he got handed over to me. But hey, we'll take that. So we have a prisoner here. So I, I guess I get to exact my revenge. I don't know if I can call him for a trial or what the options are here. I mean, I am Cersei. Oh, God, there's some bad options here. 
Oh, no. Forced marriage? That must be new to the game. I, I mean, I guess he's already married, isn't he? Yeah, so... Oh, here we go. All right, well, I can have a Tully kid now. That might be able to secure my claim on the throne. This is a weird playthrough, guys. Hey, I, I promised a weird playthrough. Uh, so I just got this notification. Maybe I should have helped Jon Snow when he gave me that request earlier because it looks like the wall has literally fallen. Uh, the White Walkers are... Oh, God, yep, they control the wall. Oh, no. So I better declare my independence now before things get worse. I was going to try to kill Tyrion, but I need to be a queen if I'm going to get assassinated here. All right, so I was going to be the, the queen of the Westerlands, but I think if we want the game to continue, we're going to have to march north. I, oh, boy. See, so yeah, because they're already marching. Oh, yep, Hugo Big Bucket. So that, that, those are the northern hill tribes, and they're requesting the Lannisters' help. So you know it's bad. They're, these guys up here are fighting the White Walkers. So honestly, what's the point of being queen if, if we're all going to die anyway? Ready the men. We ride north at dawn. Maybe me and Stannis can uh, find common ground on this. I said I was going to play in character, but hey, who knows? Maybe this is how the show, what happens in the show. Don't, maybe I'll be the one to call it. Oh, all right. So there's actually an enemy already here on my shores. Who is this? Oh, we have Ironborn Raiders. Oh, shit. All right. Well, I guess we got to deal with them on the way. That's unfortunate. Oh, oh God. So I'm pregnant with Edmer Tully's kid. This playthrough is getting weird. In my last playthrough as Daenerys, I ended up scissoring Strong Belwa, so you can go look at that one. You can find the playlist and look at that yourself, but I guess now I'm pregnant with Edmure Tully's kid, so maybe that'll be the heir to the Westerlands, and I can secure the Riverlands with it too, so that might come in handy later. Alright, so I guess you're released, Edmure. I guess you're free to go. Well, this is a weird playthrough. <laughs> All right, so we're amassing these troops here so we can fight the Ironborn Raiders who are on our shores. And then on the way there, we can uh, join up with the Night's Watch. And I got to make sure Cersei's leading those troops again because we all know that she is the true warrior. All right, so oh, Lionel thinks he's leading this army? No. Cersei and no one else. No one else, just Cersei, the true commander. All these generals can step aside. There we go. All the Ironborn don't know what hit them. And Cersei leads triumphantly. Oh, and she's going to duel the White Walkers. All right, so I'm going to amass a Greywater Watch, and uh, we'll cut back to when we get there. Oh, God, they have a lot of troops over there. Oh, no, that war was instant. All right, well, here's the next war. Yeah, this is going to keep going until... Okay, I don't care. Oh, Marcella wants to get married to some random... Oh, good, they want to marry a Lannister to a Lannister. No! Tommen! Come on, we got, a, we got a reputation to fix here. Oh good, I'm going to need to fight Stannis on my way there. Well, I guess we can kill two birds with one stone here. I didn't know Stannis was up here still. Oh god, okay. So uh, there's going to be a battle at Greywater Watch, which is not where I was hoping it would be. And this also isn't who I came up here to fight, but here we go. Cersei's going to lead her troops right now against Stannis's. And like I said, no, you're not leading this army. Cersei is. <laughs> Alright, so... We're, these guys are marching on the Freylands, which is over here. I'm going to make sure I cut them off, which will probably... Yep, there they go. Yes! All right, and here we go. One of my goals about, is about to be accomplished here. Tyrion's about to die. Let's see how that goes. I don't even care if I get caught as long as the job gets done. All right, we're marching on Greywater Watch. I don't think they can get away. Nope. All right, so the battle's going on here. So these are all Stannis' troops, and yes, <laughs> outside of that, I killed Tyrion. Yep, so sorry, everybody. He did. Uh, so see, Illyrio helped me out with that one, and I didn't even get caught. So that was perfect, really. Because even if I get I got caught, I would, didn't really care, but I avoided a huge Kinslayer uh, negative bonus, which is really good. So I succeeded in that plot. So we can get started on our next plot while that war is going on, which is down here. I got to make sure that Tommen does not get married to this one. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this one off because everyone loves Marjorie. Tyrion, not so much. Everyone kind of he has he has a lot of enemies. I'll put it that way. Um, but yeah, no one wants to help me kill the Darling Queen. Surprise, surprise. I might have to call a Faceless Man on this one. We'll see. But I, ah, that's why I shouldn't have blown my Faceless Man wad last time. Damn it, I would have gladly gone 2,000 in the hole to kill Marjorie. The only reason I didn't with Tyrion is because it would have costed too much. Well, I got this guy's a prisoner. Sir Random of House Randomness. Uh, you can rot. I don't even know who you are. I read all the books and I watch the show. Lord of Felwood? No one's ever given a shit about you. I, I apologize. Sick Burns and the Lord of Fellwood. Oh my god, I'm allied with these Bolton troops up here. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but that's still... 
Then I get, we're both fighting the good fight. The heroes of this playthrough, guys. Cersei Lannister leading all her troops. And then <laughs> Ramsay Bolton are going to be the heroes that save the world. Oh, no. Cersei, you're not going to sleep with another cousin. No, it's not appropriate. I'm not going to let this happen, damn it. We already tried to bang Edmund Tully. We're not going to do it again. In fact, we got to make sure. We should probably get married just to make sure this stops. Oh, good. There's no more candidates. I got to marry a Frey. Or this blind old man. Sir Norbert. Okay, we're going to marry a blind old man. There we go. Oh, no. I got to cancel that marriage. That was not even matrilineal. This is going to be the fuck up. Oh, no. Oh, no. I might have accidentally married someone I did not want to. Yup. Oh, God. <laughs> no, this is bad. I got to plot to kill this guy now. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I gotta kill my husband seconds after agreeing to do it. Okay, everyone's gonna be back me on this one at least. So, Marjorie, you're gonna have to wait. I have to kill this blind old man first. I'm so sorry, blind old man. I didn't mean to do that. I at least wanted it to be matrilineal, so that way, oh no. I better hope Cersei doesn't have a kid with this guy, otherwise the game's over. That literally ends the game. All right, so ready the men. All right, so where are these White Walker troops? Oh god, there's 48,000 on the wall. That's a lot. I counted, guys. That's more than I have. I counted the men. But we're going to do our best. If we can get the high ground, maybe? Anakin taught me that. So we got 2,000, actually, uh, whites here cornered that we might be able to take out. So we can at least fight one brave battle. And no, Cersei's leading these troops, guys. I already said. All right, so the, the White Walkers are fleeing. Who would have thought? So October 30th, I can get there by the force, so I should probably just try to cut them off at car hold, and they'll probably stop marching. Yep, and now they're going to try to get to the new gift. Now I'm going to try to cut them off. Alright, and I cut them off, so I Lady Cersei is leading a triumphant battle against the White Walkers right here, and took out 2,000 of them. Not bad for trying to kill an undead army. And there's another 5,000 marching this way, so if we can take a castle or two, we might be able to to bring this war score up at least, and, you know, because if they keep marching up there, oh god, that's the doom stack. I gotta avoid that. I gotta find a castle I can siege that's gonna avoid that doom stack. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna go to the last river and see what I can do. I just gotta make sure I avoid that army, because otherwise this is over. Alright, well, these unfortunate Umber troops met the 5,000 there, so I can try to draw them in, and then maybe... Ooh, I can march all the way north and start taking castles up there once these, this doom stack gets down. That might be the way I can take down Castle White, which is what I assume that their base is called, if ours is Castle Black. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to get behind them and try to take their capital. That, that might be the way that we do this. Cersei might single-handedly win this war. All right, Cersei did not single-handedly win this war. The war is over before I even got up there. But I'm going to try to... I'm going to march north anyway because by the time I get called into the next one, I might be able to start sieging up there and, and draw their troops apart. I'm running out of ideas here, but I'm, I've got 10,000 troops stuck up here at the wall and <laughs> there's no easy way to get them out without fighting through them, so... This is our plan here. All right, the next war started, and I think we're fighting for Bear Island this time. And, yep. Oh, no, Driftwood Hall. Okay, close enough. <laughs> All right, so we got the 22,000 White Walker troops down here. It looks like they're... Yep, they're coming for me. All right, so I got to make sure I keep marching. All right, so we're sieging Castle Black. My, my idea is... is Oh, my idea is not going to work. We're fucked. We can't even... Oh, no. They're going to get here on June 21st. That's in 11 days. And I can get out of here. Now, can I get out of here? Oh, no. We're fucked. If I die fleeing... Oh, no. I better at least hold my ground here. Cersei, I got bad news for you. You're about to go mano a mano with this White Walker army. Guys, this is going to go badly, but let's let it play. We're going to turn down the speed here. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, well, 32,000 only. We can fight them off. This is going well. Oh, no. Come on, give me a duel. Let me go down proud. Oh, they're not. Oh, we might be able to flee here, actually. Oh, that was a crushing defeat. Oh, my God. They killed all my troops. They're all gone. Cersei escaped. She's back home with her blind old man husband I'm trying to kill. But all 13,000 troops are gone. Oh my god. I have 19 in my... I have less than 1,000 in my army now. Oh, I know where all those troops went. They became... Oh no, they became White Walkers. Guys, I'm part of the problem. 
I thought Cersei was going to be the hero of this playthrough, but it, that's not what was happening. Tommen was down here fighting the good fight, getting 93% against Stannis, and I lost my whole army. So, our goals for this playthrough were kill Tyrion, kill Marjorie, and become queen. I did one of those three. I did one. We'll call that a win. Paul wins. Join us next time. We'll be playing as uh, different characters every week. Like I said, we're doing seven episodes. If there's anyone you want me to play as, leave it in the comments um, because I'm, I'm willing to, to do playthroughs people want to see. Otherwise, I've got some character ideas in mind that'll be coming up soon. Um, but join us next time. We'll be playing as a different character, different scenario. Um, but let us know what you want to play. And uh, thanks for watching.